Welcome to the Philippines' water world. This time of year, the Agusan Marsh is covered by meters and meters of water. Migratory birds gather atop the water lilies that cover its surface. But this delicate ecosystem that cleans and holds up floodwaters from the neighbouring mountains, protecting communities downstream from devastation, also has Monobo caretakers living, either on stilts or in these floating houses, rewarded with unlimited amounts of big, freshwater fish. And just getting there is an adventure in itself. I had no idea the traffic was this bad at rush hour. I never go out at rush hour. I try not to anyway. Today, I'm leaving this world behind. We are already driving through the catch basin of the Agusan Marsh. We're in the watershed of the Agusan River which comes all the way down from Maragusan in Davao de Oro. It's a huge, huge system. And this marsh is at the centre of it. Welcome to Agusan del Sur. We're almost there. The journey from Davao to our jump off point in Bunawan takes three or four hours. The thing of prime importance now is you have to come first to the protected area management office. So this is run by the DENR. This place, they're very nice people as well. You've got to come here because it's a protected area. You can't just enter and leave the Agusan Marsh as you want to. You can't just take a local boat in. You have to do all this coordinated. Here, we're already on the periphery of the marsh and we have to drive another seven kilometers to San Marcos which really is the end of the road. We're heading deeper and deeper, so the port right here goes straight onto one of the rivers that feeds the marsh. And even here, we can see the effect of the big rains last week. So we began our journey along a smaller flooded river, which was going to take us to a bigger flooded river. And just like that, we were entering the majestic Agusan River. There really is no other way to describe it. Okay, this is our turning. You've really got to know which tree it is. <laughs> oh, bagona. <laughs> New road. <laughs> New road. <laughs> So this in the dry season would just be a footpath, but now it's flooded, we can get the boat in, it's very very narrow, we've got to be guided, we'll come out on the other side into a different world, but this is really a path they make for the community, for easy access for the community, so they can get their burratos in so they can get in and out and so they can get their products to market. From afar, it seems like a grassy landscape with stunted trees, but close up and you can see how water lilies cover the floodwaters. Trees submerged, almost to their tips. Sana. All right. Dili na makaon. Paon ra us kwan. Ipaon na sa taga. Tingwit. Unsa ni putas ni? Unsa ka ba? Bangkal. Ay bangkal. Ah, maon sa kabug. Ay. Ani mo wag utok. Ay. 
And then it appeared. A collection of houses seemingly floating atop the marsh. Except they were floating. I've brought along some blessings for the ritual. I'm not going to be able to film that. So we'll see you after the ritual. Every first time visitor to the marsh must go through this. Kani man good sir, kaning atong gibuhat is pinaka important ni sa at amo a. Gibali mo ning gisunod namo nga kultura pa nga sa una nga naa pa among nulong nga naay bayan. Gibutang diri nga imong gi kwan sa amo a. Gibali mo bang ipasalamat. Kaning giabrihan, iyabo ni dito ni Dato sa tubig para kumbaga atong i-offer sa mga espiritu nga naa sa tubig nga di makasapadiri. Gi-blessing ni Yud ni sa Amoa. Number one, ang ginoong nga naghatag. Number two, ang kinaiyahan. Nga kumbaga, nagmahal pa sila. Nagkinanglan po ang mga tribo community. Nagkinabang ay po siya na para mapermaminti nga kaning Agusan Mars na apa siya. Selamat <laughs> 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 So I happily partook in that part of the ritual. There's absolutely no power here. This is handy. As the sun set and the moon rose on this fascinating village, we cooked some very fresh fish and just took it all in. How are you? Binaga. 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 Yeah, Sinugbanga, Taiwan. Ah, Taiwan. Well, that's a Taiwan. Imported. Ah, well, I imported. I mean, I go imported. <laughs> well, Delicious. It's that not Taiwan. <laughs> Three different types of fish, all with their own, like, really unique, deep flavors. Really good. We're going to try some more of that tomorrow. Where we really, we're going to explore. Okay, we're going out fishing on these tiny canoes. They tell me there's no crocodiles, so I hope there's not. Ah, <laughs> Ning asindahan, pispan, importante lang na atas sa paglihok, pagpaningkamot, ang kanang looy kana mang, matawag nato nga nang ingno nato nga mga tapulan, pinaka importante atong atimanon ang atong agusan Mars para dili ta magkalisod sa ato ang kinahanglanon makapaeskwela ta sa atong mga anak. Kay ang magpuyo ta sa agusan Mars, dili kayo lalim mo nang nakatudlo ko sa akong mga anak nga sa ako pa lang nga nakatunan nga dili kayo lisod ang balaod sa pang gobyerno. Kay ang balaod sa panggoberno, kaayuhan mang gihapon sa mga community. Nang ingon dito akong lolo nga walay lain niya nga ibilin niya nga kayamanan ang Agusan Mars nga Danao. Mabuhian siya o walay inahan amahan apan ampingan lang. Dako dito na akong pasalamat ang Agusan Mars nga makahatag dito o kasulbaran sa mga community nga mga manubong Agusanon dito sa kadanaw-danawan sa mga pagprotekta sa kinayahan na ang mga isda nga mga gagmay amo pang ginabuhian kay para lang nasa sunod pang henerasyon makatunang paghihapon sa mga mga bagong tobo kay dili sa ingon nga ang atong edad karon nga permintira ta karon mga batan-on na matigulang ta pan ang atong kadakatunan e isir nato sa atong mga anak o sa atong mga kaliwatan
<laughs> Mga good boys di ay. <laughs> Wala na yung balihin balihin ng asawa Bawal na <laughs> Grabe Ewa ka ba lo mo asa mga dalan? Oo ka ba lo sir? Dito ra kaya punta pa lo sa dalan Isog yung imported eh <laughs> Sometimes the traps won't sink easily when you put them back. The solution? Use water lilies as a weight. And inside the bank al trees, we were going to harvest something different. No, we're not harvesting the students. Mona, I'm going to come. Come, Hey, Ay, mauna. Abi na ko katung isa. Nagtapad mo. Bunga ka kahoy. Diling ko ko maklaro kaya para sa kulor. Wag ko kabalo. Kani ti. Ay, kana. Dali ba ka makita? Ako, malibog ko. Nga ang pagbawal sa pagpangurinti o kanang pagpanghilok. Dili jud ko gusto kay ngano. Mismo ako makapahimulos. Kaya gani ang mga empleyado sa gobyerno, mga polis, mga DNR, ang sanga klase nga ahensya sa gobyerno, nagprotekta sila galing, nga wala galing sila makapahimulos. Kami na ba? Ako na ba? Ang angay magprotekta ang community, ang mga kalanggaman, ako na obserbahan jud nga gidignayan ako sa pagpamusil. Unsa pa ay klase nga mga pagpangurinti kay nakita nako na ang pagprotekta sa gobyerno, dako ang pahimulo sa community. We also went to check a fishing net that he'd left out last night, but the biggest catch was a fish called janitor, one that isn't very highly valued. Magkusog mo hinlo na siya sa mga lumot. Mungugaw. Mungugaw. Hinlo na siya sa... Dapas iya ang kuwan, sir. Himbis. Hait. Ah. And I learned that this certainly isn't floating cabbage. Magpula pula ang imong panit ana. Malata kana mong aksyon ng yelo. O kana katul na na. Stow gana? Dagaylo. They harvested the last of the fish, and we headed back to the village to count the catch, and to of course prepare some of it for eating. I can't show you the next bit, but that's how the fish goes from alive to before we cook it. Ambohai's meat is pulled out like a snail and chopped. These were cooked adobo style earlier. It's delicious. It's almost got the same. No, the texture's different, sir. To... I was thinking chicken liver originally, but it's not the same texture at all. It's, and the adobo, it works well, and it doesn't taste fishy. I don't know what I can compare that to. It's so different. We're in a slightly bigger boat because the other one, I thought I was going to end up in the water. What I buy you, Davey? Well, that good. Well, that DI, what I buy you? So there's actually crocodile sightings are very, very rare here and they're not aggressive. They stay away from the homes. That's what they've been explaining to me. So hopefully <laughs> there are many, many more jokes I could make, but they're against the terms of my visa. So <laughs> I 
Aku ulang pua ya. Ah, nanti di pahu, 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 Okay, it's pretty cold, and this is flood water, but it's pretty good, it's pretty fresh. Oh, did he, oh, oh no smell. Did he show bahu? Oh, oh, but you know what? The, the marsh, because of all the vegetation, the fish, and everything, it cleans up the water before dumping it in Butuan. If this marsh wasn't here, Butuan would be flooded all the time. It's like a natural dam. Nature is awesome. That's why it's so important to maintain this. And my fitness is not quite up to this. So I'm going to get out of the water already. This is the difficult part. That's a Devi Kosaka. This is how I imagine they land massive tuna. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Possibly the most dark up moment of a vlog ever. Thankfully here they have water from the rain, rainwater, water from the rain, rainwater so I can take a bath properly and not have the remnants of floods from various places on me. So earlier before we went there they were pretoing the ISDA so just frying it basically. Now they're cooking it in water with lemongrass but there's going to be more to it. Coconut milk, my favourite. Magic Sarap, not my favourite. I've got two types of fish here apparently. This one's Haruan, this is a kind of like a catfish. I tried this last time, it's really good. I really like the Haluan because it's not a dry fish, it's not hard, it's juicy. It's really soft and it's tender. And the carpa, carp, which I haven't had for so, so long. There's so many varieties of fish here, as we saw earlier. This afternoon with the weather turning not so nice, we're gonna take a little look around the village and see how people live here and why they still live above water in preference to somewhere else. Dili may mabuhi sa yuta kay ang among nabuhian pangisda ara mo ning bliss ka ayo namo ang Agusan Mars pinaka importante sa mua kung dili ang kung walay Agusan Mars dili jud may mabuhi kay ngano wala mi yuta taglaing naso Taiwan mao ni ang kuan mao ni ang nag nag kuha sa kuan kanina pokot siya oh ah mao na ang pokot ang kanang kanina so you see with their houses, they're floated on top of, of a bamboo. Kauaian, I'm forgetting how to speak English already. The, the bamboo rots, so it's not enough. They can just push more underneath. This bamboo is for making fish traps and they even have a floating school and a floating church. So that barotto sunk so they were just retrieving it. It's very very deep here, maybe 10 meters deep because it's flooding. When it doesn't flood there's water but not this much. Ah, okay pastor. Ah, okay. Pastor. Ah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. The homes here might seem small, but the pantry and kitchen of this house is certainly very spacious. So they're literally just pushing this big piece of water lily around. So they've got to keep this area clear. So, they, so Janice is, is actually vlogging live from the marsh all the time on Marsh TV. I'm going to put a link. Go and check it out so you can see more about the marsh. Oh. Go on, 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 go
Mga silinga no. Paama mga pagumangtan. Hello. Ang mosulod di ha, sayan. Ipon. O pangpaon sa taga. Number one na po mga community, kailangan mo protect ka. Kay kami man ang makinawang sa kung unsa man ang naapangagihatag sa kinaiyahan diri sa amo sa ginoo. O labi na po sa kung dili ang pinaka-importante na apanis siya sa umaabot pang panahon nga makita pa sa amo mga kaapu-apuhan na naadiay ng Agusan Mars. Two nights later, time to say goodbye. Hi, balik balik sir. Balik ko po hana. Salamat ka ayo. Ah, salamat po. The house moved last night in the rain. It's not easy to get it out. Maintaining this road through the water lilies is very difficult because it's all water. The water lilies shift. And for me, I mean, we're heading back to dry land in a while, but I want to stop off in another community. And like they were saying to me, they were saying, this is what they're used to and this is what they know, life on the water. So, life on the land is as strange to them as life is on the water to me. That's what I've realized. It's a totally, totally different world. But the marsh's highest elevation is found on the banks of the Agusan River. Dinagat is one of several villages built on stilts on the banks of the Agusan River. Here, the floating school is a bit different because the yard is dry half of the year. What I've heard time and time again is there's many, many more fish when it's flooded. When the flood recedes, there's less fish. So actually, they welcome these floods. It's not a luoy luoy kind of situation, it's they welcome the floods because it brings fish, it brings livelihood. This is just a small insight into a magnificent water world. The giant sponge at the center of the Philippines' fourth largest province. A marsh vitally important to the whole region. Um, we're back on dry land after 48 hours of only floating. Different world, different world entirely. It's been awesome, and I'm absolutely, absolutely want to explore some more soon. Places like Dinagat, which they call it because it's like an ocean. Well, when it floods, it is anyway. Definitely, definitely be back soon to just the water world of the Agusan Marsh. <laughs>